Hello my YouTube friends, this is Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and today I have the privilege to be reviewing Tim and Kiara's luxury retreat. They were kind enough to support us and pay for their uh, Airbnb listing review and we're going to go ahead and talk to them about what we think they're doing well and what we think they can improve on. As you know, we do it in six steps. The first one is the title, then we talk about their photos and the order of those photos, then the thumbnail selection. Then we talk about their description, how they copy and market their product, uh, and then finally the reviews and the pricing. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first one is the title. Now, Tim and Kiara, with all due respect, I love your names, but it doesn't do anything for me as it relates to trying to get me to book your place. Uh, luxury retreat is the closest thing that has any meaning here, and um, it's not enough. So let's try and rewrite this. Uh, I don't know enough about Edmonton, I haven't really been there, but again, the title and your thumbnail shot are selling the dream. So let's talk about the convenience, let's talk about the location, let's talk about the comfort, let's talk about the experience, let's talk about um, like why your home and not somebody else's and, and your personal first names aren't a reason, right? Like it could be Richard and, and Tina's place and it still doesn't have any meaning. So let's just talk about why somebody should rent your place in particular and your names are not sufficient. So go ahead and try a few different things. As I always suggest, I recommend that you A-B test them, try as many titles as you need. The way that you're gonna know that you're onto the right title is you're gonna see in your statistics an increased number of clicks, uh, wish list saves, um, and bookings ultimately. So I think there's a ton of room for improvement and I think you're gonna see, once you get the right title, a lot more clicks and a lot more bookings. So go ahead and try a few different options. Let's talk about the photos. I'm gonna go ahead and click through them here for a minute. Okay, cool. So I think your photos are actually very nice. I think that the home itself is very nice. I think it photographs very well. There's a few things that I would suggest that would make it a little bit better. And you've probably heard this from me on other uh, reviews also. This Airbnb Superhost, I think it's really innovative. I think it's interesting. I think it's helpful. I think it's misplaced. Uh, when we looked at it on both mobile and on the desktop here, uh, it's floating too high and to the right. Let's try and get that into the lower corner here, taking up space on the floor. So let's just go ahead and move that down. I always like to see uh, a home that looks like it's, you know, inviting and engaging and being lived in. And so maybe put some, um, I don't know, some place settings or some wine and a wine glass over here at the eat-in kitchen counter. Maybe a candle on the coffee table or an orchid or some magazines. Uh, the throws and the pillows here uh, looks a little bit sloppy. Uh, throws are generally folded, so instead of it being laid over like a blanket and you've got one over here, go ahead and fold it nice and neat and then fluff these pillows and make them upright and then this back pillow here looks like it's sort of been collapsing. Again, before we take these photos, go ahead and fluff the pillows, um, get them nice and orderly, get the throws looking right, make sure everything looks great, and then take the photograph. Um, it looks to me like you have uh, the same sort of collage of postcards above the bed and at the foot of the bed and um, I think it's bright and it's colorful and it looks nice. Um, I absolutely love the roll of the towels. I think that's great. Again, I think the bed could be made a little bit better. You know, these pillows aren't quite uh, upright um, and the closet doors, I think you perhaps have intentionally left it open to show it's a closet, um, but I'm not sure that it, it's necessary to do that. This photo here of the bedside table with the wireless charging and USB outlets built in, I think it's a really cool idea, <clears throat> but it looks like a very strange photo. Maybe you could um, use it by like plugging in your phone and showing it like in action as opposed to talking about it. Because realize, even though I stress that it's a great opportunity to use a description down here, very few people actually read it. Again, I really love the uh, towels here. Uh, I'm not sure that the postcards of places that you've traveled on both walls, that might be a little overkill, but you know, it's colorful, it's bright, it's exciting, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, the bathroom looks a little Spartan. I'm not sure what this like shark here is. 
uh, so I'm not, I'm not really sure. And when I look at the photos, I'm not sure if this is a shared bathroom or if it's my own private bathroom, but I'd like to see maybe, I don't know, some shampoo over here or something. It just looks, it looks a candle. Uh, it just looks very empty. And then the only thing I do see here is like a shark, which is not exactly what I'm expecting to see in a bathroom. Again, this photo here, I'd like to see a little bit more lived in and, and it looks lived in in the sense that it's not particularly straight and orderly and there's this cable over here and the throws and the pillows aren't lined up so it looks like somebody's living there but not in a good way um, like in a let's just take a snapshot of the living room and put it up what I'd like to see is everything be really crisp and clean and orderly and like you set up the the room to be photographed and when I say lived in um, you know Go ahead and put these, if these are coasters, put them down and you can put a glass of wine there and you can put a candle here and you can have a tr uh, orchid or some other small potted plant and make it seem um, a little bit more vibrant. I think up here some sort of art would be good. If you guys are living there and you ever decided to mount the television, that would be a good idea. It's not very expensive these days. Um, or just put some artwork above it, but otherwise it looks a little bit... Uh, empty without it and I think even a, a little throw rug underneath here would look really cool too. This uh, I think is great, this workstation. What I'm not clear on and I'll read the description shortly, I'm not clear if that's your workstation or if I'm allowed to use it. So it's like that hands-on or hands-off and if it's hands-off then we definitely don't want to be highlighting it because that's like off-limits uh, and I can't imagine that you want random people all over the world that are staying with you to be accessing your personal computer and monitors and so on. So my gut tells me this is sort of, you're highlighting it, but it's really off bounds. And that probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, here again, I love to see this same shot, which I think you did really well, but with some, uh, maybe some cereal bowls or some coffee mugs or something that shows, hey, you know, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna enjoy a cup of coffee together. Um, same with this shot here. This shot's a little strange to me. It looks like there's a big red straw or something sticking out. It looks a little out of place. These coffee mugs look a little random and haphazard. Um, either remove them or put them upright or turn them upside down or stack them or something. But the way it is right here just looks a little strange. The washer and dryer, um, I'm not really sure what this five, five days or longer is supposed to do. You, you mentioned that in the description. Uh, the room itself is really cool in, insofar as that you have all the supplies, but it doesn't look particularly tight. Um, so I'd like to see these towels stacked neatly and the protein shake maybe, you know, unless you're sharing that with people is hidden somewhere else. And it just looks like, you know, this swifter thing is like hanging. Um, I like the idea for the shot, but before you take the shot, let's go through and spend two minutes and make sure it's all buttoned up and nice and tight. And then I think that you should contemplate uh, changing this policy about people not using the washer dryer for five days. I'm not sure what you're trying to avoid other than perhaps the expense and then maybe I would just raise my cleaning fee or raise the uh, nightly fee. I think this outdoor space is super cool. Again, I would put some wine glasses or something to make it a little bit more inviting. Uh, I love the the potted plants and it looks really nice and sunny so I think this is great. The complex looks really cool. I love that it's brand new. Parking is included. Um, the entrance uh, doesn't add a ton of value but it is again nice and clean and brand new and it's got state-of-the-art security. This is really cool and I'd love to hear your comments. How do you like working with the August Smart Lock? I think that's really helpful for a lot of people and I would love to hear from you what you think about it. Um, and then what I would probably do is take this photo again, focus a, a little less on the hallway and the poster in the hallway and a little more on the smart lock so we know exactly what we're looking for because if I didn't read down here, I would think you're just showing me the Festival de Con art and a door and I wouldn't know what it was relevant for. But I think the smart lock is really cool. So I would change that photo. And this I absolutely love. You've got blazing fast internet speed plenty to stream and to work and for multiple people to use it and I think that's fantastic. Um, and I would change this description from your names and luxury retreat to 
blazing fast internet speed supports you know anything you need to do so those are the photos and uh, the order I think is good there's no photos of the neighborhood at all I don't know what's in walking distance I don't know what the restaurants look like I don't know if there's any coffee shops I think that that adds uh, a lot of value to people that haven't been to Edmonton or been to your neck of the woods so I would put some of those in and I would um, you know intersperse them so tell a story like here's where you're living and here's where you're walking and here's where you're showering and here's where you can go have coffee and so on so I would definitely recommend doing some of that as it relates to the thumbnail selection I think this is probably your best shot um, again with some of the caveats that I said earlier moving the superhost down staging it getting a candle fluffing the pillows folding the throws maybe putting a little um, rug accessory rug down here but this is nice and welcoming and I, I like the selection so let's move on and talk about the description and I think this is uh, pretty good with some room for improvement you have a private bedroom and bathroom again I want to make sure that that is clear is it a private bathroom right here when I read it it, it says private bedroom but it doesn't say private bathroom so is it a shared bathroom is it a private bathroom let's be really clear so people know exactly what it is that they're getting and um, it says it's got everything and it's near everything but we didn't show those in the photos so let's show what the near everything is cozy modern private uh, offers everything you need minutes from the airport very sought after location let's show it walking distance to the groceries restaurants movie cinema close to public transportation brand new I love all the discussion of the internet speed and the cable and Netflix and washer and dryer for five days or longer again I'm not sure what that's all about I don't know if that's a cost thing you think people are going to be doing too much laundry or you're using the laundry or the noise is disturbing but I just think that that's a little bit off market meaning that's unusual um, we don't see that often so I would encourage you to rethink that strategy uh, and just do away with it and, and by the way if it gets abused or like whatever your fears were if those actually get realized then you can always put it back but let's experiment with it instead of just like deter people uh, I love the fact that you got the August smart lock no keys to lose um, and I think this is you know really pretty interesting that you guys are such world travelers I think that's cool uh, I think people will enjoy that um, and that you're generally home in the evening and on some weekends but I think that um, you know I saw somewhere here earlier about the uh, have to be respectful of this with when it comes to noise late at night and I think you want to clarify that a little bit like your late at night might be early for someone else or vice versa so you know let's let's be helpful here uh, we go to sleep at 11 o'clock at night we'd appreciate it if you wouldn't watch television or you watch television um, on your iPad you know stream to it let's just be really clear so that there's no awkward uh, situation with people in your home I mean you're living there and you don't want anybody to feel awkward and you yourself don't want to be awkward um, so let's clean that up a little bit and that'll take care of it other than that I think the um, description is pretty self-evident I think if you gave it a little bit more color as to what is walking distance you say great restaurants and grocery stores just elaborate a little bit there's a fresh bakery there's a coffee place there's a restaurant that serves pizza I don't know whatever it is um, the general statement is good but being a little more specific is even better so since you're trying to market your property and get people to stay with you you know believe it or not somebody may stay with you because they can walk to uh, the Italian restaurant and they don't have to get in their car you don't know so just try and be as helpful as possible and realize that what you take for granted since you know the neighborhood and what you mean by that somebody booking this online has no idea and they don't even have the address so they can't even Google it so just try and be a little bit more thorough so let's go on to the reviews and you've got nine five-star reviews which is fabulous five stars on everything and people had a great stay your great place best yet um, above and beyond very well equipped um, they were quiet as possible if I were sleeping at odd times during the day which was awesome um, fantastic host I mean it's clear that you guys are really doing everything right and I love the way that you respond to all of the guests I think that's the best practice so keep doing that and um, I think people seem to be absolutely loving what it is that you're doing it looks like you just got started the reviews basically start 
uh, in 2017 in August and uh, you know I would say that that's fantastic. Now as it relates to the pricing I think you probably have room to go up in price. Uh, $32 per night seems a little bit low relative to some of the competition but you would know better than I. I think your cleaning fee is very low. Um, it's almost like don't bother charging it and then your extra people seems a little high. I charge $10 per person so 16 seems high. I charge anywhere from 200 to 300 per clean. Uh, granted that's a whole home but I think a cleaning fee of $25, $50 isn't going to deter anyone. Charles, how much do you charge? I charge $40. $40, um, and that's for a shared uh, room. It's small. A small, not yeah. Small, not much cleaning. He charges $40. So I think you can charge more on, uh, than $16 for cleaning and, and compensate you for your time. I'm not a huge fan of weekly discounts. I'm even less of a fan of monthly discounts. If you're in the short term rental space, then you shouldn't be thinking about monthly rentals. You should be charging a high enough price that if you don't have 100% occupancy, you're okay with it because you're still doing better over the course of a year or many years. So I'm not a big proponent of the monthly discount. I think your security deposit is probably fair. And when I take a look at your calendar, it looks like you don't have any bookings at all. Um, which surprises me. Uh, the entire month of November is wide open, December and January. And, you know, I, I don't know, but <clears throat> I would imagine Edmonton is a um, popular place for travel. At least one of these months would have some uh, bookings. So I think this title might really be limiting the number of people that have any interest in your place in the first place. So let's really work on that because I'm sure you can get some rentals and I think that, um, <coughs> excuse me, I think there's a great opportunity. Now I do like this special since you do have wide open availability. You're taking a 10% off for the next five days, November 5th through the 10th. I think that's really smart and entrepreneurial. So go ahead and, and you know, experiment with that and hopefully you get those bookings. So. Overall, Tim and Kiara, I like what you're doing. You're doing it well. People seem to like what it is that you're doing. This is probably the slow season, so maybe we have to play with our pricing a little bit. I don't know if you're using dynamic pricing or not. Uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, experiment with the title. I think that'll help a lot. Take a few of the photos again. Um, and otherwise it looks really good. So keep doing what you're doing. I really appreciate it. And to the extent that anybody watching this wants their listing reviewed, go ahead and click on the link below. And in the meantime, I'm gonna wish everyone happy hosting. I appreciate your time and energy. Please leave comments and feedback in the link below. And um, subscribe. Thank you.